Hi, this is Pastor Israel. Um, I just want to talk about a great book we read, Deep Work. We're beginning this process of um, doing book reviews because I'm on a serious drive for reading books. And the book I just read is called Deep Work. Um, and it's written by a man called Carl Newport. Rules for successful, uh, rules to be successful in a distracted world. Now, Deep Work, basically the concept of the book is that uh, the writer tells us um, that uh, deep work is a place of intense concentration in order for an individual to produce on an elite level. His name is Carl Newport. Um, I read one of his books this year. It was an incredible book called um, So Good You Cannot Be Ignored. I also recommend that book. He's a great writer um, and he advocates individuals to develop skills and to function on a high level. So he argues that um, distraction limits our excellence distraction limits how well we perform and how well we function and in this book i learned so much and i just want to share with you um, actually this book is a new book it was published this year on the 5th of january 2016 and these are the top five things that i learned um, from this book it's a well-written book well-written book i mean i'd greatly encourage you to read it um, um, his main issue, his main issue, just to give you an overview of the whole book, is his main issue is concerned that our generation is extremely distracted because we're constantly being bombarded by uh, email, social media, and all these various things which keep us distracted. And his argument is because of these distractions, we're not performing on the elite level and on the level that we should. So there's five lessons I learned from this book. Number one, um, he and I'm going to quote him here. He says the two abilities for us to thrive in this modern economy and to function on an elite level are number one, the ability to master hard things quickly, and number two, the ability to produce on an elite level in terms of quality and speed. So the first thing I learned from this person is that we have to come to a place where we master difficult things quickly. And that's impossible if you don't come into a place of deep work, a place of deep focus, and a place of uh, deep concentration. For us to function on an elite level and to produce high quality work, whatever, whatever field we're in, whether it's in accounts, whether it's in the medical field, whether you're a student, whether you're a preacher, whatever field you're in, to produce on an elite level, it's going to take for you to go into that zone of deep work, that zone of uh, deep concentration and deep focus. Number two, um, to produce on an elite level, don't allow your mind to drift. The habit of mind drifting and mind wandering is one which is um, uh, affecting our generation. And we have to come to a place where we have laser focus on the things that we're doing, laser focus on the work at hand, laser focus on the things that we're doing. In order for us to function on an elite level, we can't be distracted. We've got to eliminate distracting. And the habit of being distracted will limit your progress. Number three, he pushed an interesting concept called attention residue. Attention residue. Now, the concept of attention residue, which I loved, which he spoke about, was that our minds... Um, uh, have a way of spreading attention. So when we switch tasks, for example, if I'm focusing on my studies, if I'm studying law and I'm focusing on my studies and that's all I'm doing, 100% of my attention is there and I can penetrate this zone of deep work. But any time I begin to switch between tasks, I begin to look at my email and I begin to look at my social media, let's just say my Facebook and my Twitter, what happens is that 100% attention begins to, to spread across these various tasks. So in one moment, um, I'll end up, my, my, my focus will now move from my book. So I had 100% of my book. When I look at my email, it's now 50%. And then when I include my Facebook, it's now divided by three. Now that's like 30%. And then when I look at my Twitter, for example, it's 25%. So my attention now has been spread in four different ways. So where I could have been 100% invested in my studies, it's now reduced um, to 25%. So I'm going to produce on a 25% level because of attention residue. And then the other concept he speaks about is um, 
learning to embrace boredom. He argues that our generation is so afraid of being bored. We're at a place where we we're afraid of being bored. So anytime we can be distracted, like by looking at our smartphones, we haven't come to a place where we've learned how to embrace being alone and being quiet. And that's something which is costing us very badly because every moment of the day, we want to look at our phone, we want to look at our email, we want to look at who's, who's speaking to us, and we want to look at all these various things. So because of that, we're afraid to be bored. And if you're afraid to be bored, if, you are, if you come to a place where you are afraid to be bored, what's going to happen is you won't go into that zone of deep work, of intense concentration and intense focus. So our, our generation right now is so addicted to being distracted. So we spend a lot of time looking at our social media, replying emails, replying SMSs, and we never penetrate that place of deep work where we are in a place of deep concentration. Number five, have a strict routine. Um, one of his arguments is we have to be stewards of our time and have strict um, strict routines. We have to have strict moments when we look at our emails, strict moments when we look at our Facebooks, uh, strict moments because if we want to come to that place of uh, deep work, if we want to enter that zone of deep work and deep concentration, it is not going to happen if we don't have a strict routine. Um, and this book has revolutionized my mind, it has revolutionized my week and I, I was just so excited to share with you and I would highly recommend deep work to your life. I would highly recommend that book. Get it. Um, it will get you to a place where you begin to focus and function on an elite level. In On an elite level. God bless you. Have a great week. Let's be readers because readers are leaders.